Hello, welcome to this course. In this course, you are going to learn about Flutter and Dart programming. So first question is, what is Flutter? The Flutter is a UI toolkit to build natively compiled application for mobile, desktop and web. Flutter is built by Google. So it is a mobile SDK and the Dart is a programming language. Dart used the Flutter SDK to transform wizard tree into a natively compiled app. So what is the widget? In Flutter, everything is a widget. So whatever you are seeing on screen, it is a widget and the widget tree. So you can say the entire application is a collection of widget. Widget is an object which is responsible for specific tasks. For example, text. Text widget is responsible for displaying the text string on screen. So if you want to add some click event on text, so you can add this text with a gesture detection widget. The gesture detection widget is responsible for click event. So if you want to add click event over the text, over the image or even over the layout, you can wrap that widget with gesture detection. That's way you can add any wizard at anywhere. So another question is, in which language Flutter is built? Flutter is written in C, C++, Dart and Sky language. So how Flutter is different from other app development tools? To know about this thing, first you should know how native apps work. Generally, a native apps have written a code in Java, Swift or Kotlin language. This code will convert in an intermediate form, then it will transform to the platform. Platform is iOS or Android app. So there a intermediate is playing a important role. But in Flutter case, you return the code and the Flutter widget tree convert this code and responsible for everything happening on the screen. So the wizard, as I told you itself, performing the specific task and responsible for all the events. So Flutter eliminate the bridge. That's why this Flutter code is very faster. And because of this feature there, Flutter is also providing a, another feature known as in-time compilation. That means hot reload. So you, without compiling the entire project, you can just hard reload your code and you can see the response on screen. This is the flutter and it gives you a lot of flexibility. And the more important thing is, this is a single code based application. So you don't need to write the separate code in a Java or Kotlin and the separate code for iOS in Swift language. Using the one single code base, this task can be performed and if at any point you want some code should be executed separately for Android and some code execute for iOS app only. So this function is also available in Flutter language. So I hope you understand how Flutter works.